Welcome to Slow Home. Too many people live in badly designed houses and we want to change that. This is day 83 of the Slow Home Project and we need you to join us in our quest to evaluate the design quality of houses in nine North American cities in nine months. This week we are reviewing the results of our work in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and today we're going to be voting on the Slow Home Award winner in the apartment loft category. So we're going to have a look at some of the statistics before we actually get into the vote. Yes, right. And uh, you've done your analysis. And, yeah, very, very quickly. I thought I'd just share some of that. Very excited to see what we've got. It is really interesting. And so this is, a, this is the, uh, the apartment lofts in Toronto. You okay. remember that right. uh, curve that we had there. And when you compare it to Dallas, we see a subtly different curve. So does that mean that more apartments lofts in Dallas are better designed? What it means is yes. Huh. You've actually got... A three-point spread. We got slightly more, and I had the sense of that as yeah. I was going through it. But what's also interesting is that there's even more worse ones. Really, interesting. You know, if we look at that okay. versus that, right, we've, right. uh, we've, we go from one percent really bad to seven percent really bad, and eighteen to twenty-one. So then there's a sort of subtle shift down. So the, there's fewer moderately good houses. Right. It's either there's, there's a bigger there's range. There's a bigger spread. Interesting. In between. I think it's really, really interesting. And what I'm going to be doing over the, the course of the rest of the week is starting to look into the details as, right. well, as we so, get into So this. more apartment lofts scored high, had, got higher scores on That's the right. slow home test. Yeah. And more of them got lower scores. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and you can see that because here the... So in the Toronto, there was the a lot in the middle. And yeah. in Dallas, it spread out a little bit more. That's right. Interesting. So now the task is going to be to try and find the best of, uh, of these slow homes and we've got three nominees yeah so we've got three that we've shortlisted and so we need you guys to go and look at the information at the bottom of the player and make a decision as to which one that you would vote for as to the which one should win the award so the first one is called buzz lofts and it's by a change chamber development corporation and t howard and associates are the architects and they're 1252 square feet units um, and they're described as being a sensible, sustainable community of 49 condominiums geared to those who are seeking a socioeconomic balance. That's what. That's from the website. That's those from the website. Matthews that's not my words, but that's that's. But what it sounds they say like a website. very slow thing. Nevertheless, here's a couple of uh, of images from the website. Uh, you, there's a link down at the bottom of the player. Go to that. Explore it. It's quite a handsome looking project. There's the floor plan. A modest uh, open plan space. Um, 1,252 square feet. The second one is Unit F2 in One Montgomery Plaza in Fort Worth. This is really interesting because it's a restoration of the original Montgomery Ward department store, yeah. which was first built in 1928. Wow. Uh, unit F2 is 1,654 square feet. It's got two bedrooms, two and a half bedroom, bathrooms, sorry, and a den. Hmm. Let's have a quick look at those. Great image. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that image. Very Texan. Yeah, it is. There's the uh, there's what it looked like in 1928, and and here's what we're looking at today. So I think that's really cool. I think just it is to really cool. With. And yeah. uh, and and then we've got a floor plan. It's it's a much more um, family oriented floor plan, and I think it works it works particularly uh, nice. Interesting. Yeah, it's going to be a tough. This tough is choice. already. It seems tough. So exactly. then the third one is uh, Unit D in the Metropolitan. And it is actually another conversion. It's a 1970s office tower in downtown Dallas that has been converted to uh, residential use. They're 1,100 square feet, and the unit we're looking at is two bedrooms and two baths. And uh, it's uh, affordable um, because on the website they talk about that most condos in Dallas are uh, are around four to five hundred dollars a square foot, and this one is actually two hundred and fifty dollars a square foot, so almost in half of what uh, the other condos are going for in Dallas. So it's interesting. So yeah. So, have a look at that one. Sure, you bet. There's the uh, the front page, some clever graphics. Yes. There's the building, and I got to say, I'm really excited about this one because there's so many of these 1970 office buildings in yeah. downtown, all across North America. And if there was a way to actually reuse some of those, that would just be so cool. Yeah, it's that is really cool. really interesting. And actually, I think they do a good job. Yeah, the plans look really reasonable. Yeah, I mean, there's they're 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 not you know they're basic. Yeah, they're basic, know, but, but they but they work yeah. really really well. So that's that's the third one. So it's a lot interesting choices. It is I interesting. It's going to be difficult. So. so vote. I can't say vote often. Just vote once. Yeah. But, and 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 record why. Yeah. Make and it argument. was interesting when we did the voting before. People would uh, would add comments and they would actually go through the process of how they came up with the decision to vote for one project or another. And and I think the viewers, the Soho viewers, and us, we really appreciated that. And I think it's really interesting to put that down. So take some time and do that. 
exactly. And whichever one you select, we'll be traveling to Dallas to, uh, to visit them and bring you back some uh, first-hand information on the project. And tomorrow, we're going to be voting for townhouses. Yeah, so see you tomorrow. Bye.